the thing that's crazy, the day before I was interviewing, uh, you know, uh, Swerve Strickland on Shade 4 5. So I, you know, I, he brought the belt up, you know, let me make it clear. He brought, he brought the belt up and I, you know, I took photos with it and we became buddies and we were chums. So I went to the Arthur Ashe Arena early. You know, I heard the food is good. The, the women are cute as hell. I don't know. Uh, the women back in the days in wrestling were horrible. Now they're hot as hell. So I went early to check it out. Booties everywhere. But I don't want to talk about that because, you know, wrestling. But when I got there, I ran into, you know, the claim and they were like rehearsing and they were doing all these weird scissor techniques and they were flipping over each other. So I, I thought they were a little more cooler. So then I was like, yo, let me just hang with these guys. You know, I, I, I like, I, I think the scissor thing is crazy. So I kind of like, I mean, I didn't know Swerve long enough to be loyal. So I decided to trick. I, I went to the, I, I think the paperwork, I switched my name and put fabulous name on on Swerve's team, and I switched my name on the acclaim because okay, I found so hold out on. the acclaim the acclaim was the good guys. So I didn't want to come out in front of twenty thousand people. Everybody's booing. Fabulous didn't even notice. Fabulous got his chain on. He's iced out. He's, he's getting ready to get his look when he came out. Boo, boo, fuck you, fuck out of here. So then I, I was like, oh my god, and then the, you know the acclaim was with it. What? So uh, Swerve gets mad because he saw that Fab went out with him. I stayed back, you know, behind, you know, backstage. It's too late. Once they tell you to go, you got to go. So he saw I didn't go out with him. All of a sudden, Fab is out there. I come out and then it's over. History was made. I, the reason I wear this mask is because I'm Haitian. So it's the Haitian flag. But the Haiti kid back in the days, I used to hang with, you know, Andre the Giant, Macho Man. You know, RIP to those guys. You know, Hulk Hogan is still my homie. Ric Flair, those are the homies. And then all of a sudden, I I, I came up with this spiritual connection. That I don't know. I feel like the Haiti kid was reincarnated in me. And he he, he he you know he was a little person, but now he's big. You know what I'm saying? And then you know he's iced out. You know he got the money now because you know I don't know. The Haiti kid looked like he was broke. But yo, this Haiti kid, this new version is serious, man. I don't even have a bank account. You know what I'm saying? I keep the money with me. And then Walker, so, Walker was around. The, look at Walker's in here. Look. He's well, around the <laughs> that was going to be my next question. Who's what behind you going to do when we come for you, sucker? <laughs> you we got Walker, Walker, Flame on the show now. The two for one special. The turn up gods have reunited right here on TMZ Sports. Walker, what's going on, man? <laughs> you know something? I'm ready for him, brother. <laughs> Oh, here's here's My- a question. I got a question for you. First, I got to recap with who kid. So let me just get this straight. Swerve comes on your show as the current AEW tag team champions with Keith Lee, my good buddy. He comes mm-hmm. on your show. You guys make buddies. You show up backstage. You see Platinum Max, who, of course, used to do Freestyle Mondays for us here on TMZ Sports, a great friend of the show. And you just saw how they were living and you just yeah, to team up with those guys. Instead, you kick your boy Fabulous over, over to Swerve and Keith Lee, and your team won the gold. So the way I see it is, you're you're part of the tag team champions now. Uh, I, yo, I, I chose right, and then I heard him freestyle. You know, I'm part of Eminem's culture. I run the channel. I was like, yo, I'm gonna be with the guys that that just freestyle. You know, and you know, you know, cool ass white boys, man. I just, I just went crazy, man. I felt like I was in Detroit or stuff, man. I, I just went crazy. And, you know, the fact is, uh, I felt kind of bad after because on my Instagram, Swerve wrote traitor on my comments. Oh. So he went at me. I don't know if this is real beef or I don't know if it's wrestling. I don't know. Yo, that's why I called Waka to hang with me for the next couple of days because Swerve, I don't know. He, you know, he, he, him and Keith, you know, Keith Lee look kind of diesel, man. I, I don't want no problem. So I said, Waka, man. Just hang with me for like four or five days just in case, man, because you got to get the real street guys to be with you. You know, Walker's a cool guy, but if you get him angry, he'll protect you, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Man. Like, he, he, he's come to my aid a few times, man. You know, a couple artists went at me. I just make the phone call. Walker's there. I'm protected. So if Swerve want any issues, man, Walker Flocker, 
is here to protect me. If you want to take it to the ring, I don't know. You, you, you the ring, the streets, around the corner. Well, that that's what I got to know. Who kid? That's what it we sounded like title. to me because we want sounds the like AEW might have their next tag team on their hands right now with the turn up gods because forget just going to the ring with the acclaimed or swerving our glory. It sounds like we got the next big tag team uniting for the first time right here on TMZ Sports. Waka, you getting the itch to get in the ring or what, man? My wrestling name is The Flame Flame. <laughs> Yo. So the Flame. You got to call me The Flame. Waka, that's in another reality. Right now, it's The Flames. AEW, the best wrestling in the world right now. <laughs> Because me and Who Kid will be there to, the, to defend our title. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I believe AEW is going to be headed to Atlanta soon. And I know how big really? of a Atlanta when? guy Waka is, or the Flame when? is, I should say. I, I don't know. The next time they're, Atlant they're in Atlanta, can we expect a uh, Flame appearance or what? It's not It's not safe to swerve in, uh, in Atlanta. I don't know. They better not take it to the streets, man. You better just keep... They keep it in the ring, keep it up there, keep it flipping and all that. We'll have, we'll have, a, we'll have a match right in the parking lot. <laughs> Wherever I see him, it's a match. Get the ref, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Don't let us get the choppers, you know what I'm saying? We, we ain't talking oh, about yeah. chopsticks. Right here, baby. You know what <laughs> <laughs> so I'm we got who can pounds, we got baby. the flame taking on Swerve and Keith Lee in a parking lot and no DQ match, falls count anywhere match. Whatever you want, Matt, th this sounds like what I want to see when I watch AEW. We're going to have to call Tony Khan and get this one in the books. And the new Haiti kid, man. I'm the new Haiti kid, man. I'm ready, man. Haiti kid, RIP the Haiti kid, but he is back, man. He's reincarnated in my body. When they know? hear it, flame. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> Mojo, you got to be there, flame. man. Oh, well, you know I'm going to be there. I ain't missing that. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Well, here, here's a question for two music enthusiasts, stars, the biggest names in the game. This is probably the question everybody wants to know. For your debut tag team match, what, what's the entrance song? What song y'all coming out to? Oh, come on, man. You know that, man. Hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. That's it. That's the number one song, Acapella. period. Hard in the paint, over. Flame. <laughs> Let's, go, baby. Let's go. We on, man. And, and we'll bring other people with us too, man. Cause we, we it's gonna be like a battle royal, man. Flame. Don't make me bring some classic guys out here, man. I'll bring some classic dudes up there and, and mess this whole thing up, man. Like it's gonna be totally different. You know what I'm saying? So don't bring that up. Yo, know, Mojo, if this happens, I'm bringing some gangster people up there. You would not believe. No, I'll Rich, be right there with you, boys. I got Nelson my boys back. Let's go, baby. Yo, you know, don't sleep on Willie. Don't sleep on Willie Nelson. I know he's like 90, but that's like my best friend. Don't make me bring Willie Nelson up there. He kick some ass. Put a chair in his hands. He'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and then of course your best friend Gronk, man. I did I DJ'd his uh, retirement party a couple weeks ago. He's like, yo, I know Walker's with you, but if you need any extra help, you know, he's retired. He'll come with me too, man. Gronk, you know, all these people this one this one protect me, man. You know, I, I work in a very dangerous business called hip hop. You know what I'm saying? The most dangerous job on the planet. You gotta hang with these guys, man. Now nah, I'm good, man. We got the squad, man. That's right. You did DJ Rob's second annual retirement party, as I was loving to call it. But yeah, man, me and Rob, we, we've had some history in the wrestling ring. We got Walk on board. We got DJ Who Kid, the Turn Up God 2.0. This sounds like one for the books, baby. We're going to call Tony Cobb. We're going to get this one scheduled. Uh, this, this is going to be Can't Miss Television. Who Kid? Waka or the flame, I should say. Thanks so much for joining us flame. on TMZ Sports. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's get this one scheduled. Yo, I, we put money up too, man. We don't care about no belts, man. Yo, put up 100 G's. We'll give it a charity or whatever. 100 G's, man. Oh, I don't care. Hold on. That, that just that just up the game right there. We got yeah, we don't care. We don't, we don't care about the belt. We just want to kick ass. You know what I'm saying? 